Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Welp, like that. And there's the other one, and this is why I did it like this. The Tiny Crimson Welpling is a well drop. You learn that one, and that one will get you this Crimson Welpling right here. That one is a level 25 pet. All of these here are level 1. And they are being listed at 23,000 a pop. So, really we want to be looking at either selling it for the same price or we do want to undercut by 1,000 gold to encourage someone to perhaps buy it and relist it. That's kind of what I'm thinking is buy, relist. That then gets us the money which allows us to start hunting the Abyssal Fragments. Because that's what we really want here. Um... We want to buy the Abyssal Fragments right there. Now, there are six of them at 6,000 gold apiece. Which is not the cheapest, to be honest. I think we could do with them being a little bit cheaper than that. Sen bought them the other day at 2,000 each. So I'm not going to buy any at the moment. I'm going to leave them as they are. The Tiny Crimson Welpling, I'm going to list this one at 22,000. The others are all listed at 23,000, so it's, we're going to do it 1,000 gold cheaper than the others. But by doing it 1,000 gold cheaper, we're far more likely to sell it, and then we can convert that 22,000, I'm hoping, into Abyssal Fragments at a, you know, a lot faster than we would otherwise. That's, that's what I'm thinking here, is it's all about expediency, getting those fragments as rapidly as possible. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and run over to the boat over this way. And let me jump down over. Yes, you are. We're going to run over to the boat and we're going to just see about uh, doing this bit right here. King Gen, Gen Greymane. He's got the, the offensive thing over there. Let's have a look and see what we got with our mission report. View completed mission. 180% chance. Means we've got an 80% chance of the bonus. We got it. Nicely done. Order of Ember's Commendation. That gets us a little bit of extra rep with that one. So we've only got a few, about a thousand left before we got Order of Ember's all the way up. That's 7th Legion Commendation there. Uh, that's Polished Pet Charms right there, which is uh, pet rewards of different kinds. We will go with this one right here. I don't have anything that will cover the ranged troop bit. But I did ask for some troops. Hopefully we're going to be able to do this. Do I? And I also have just enough resources to go and do it as well. I don't have very many resources. But I have just enough to be able to cover it. So we want the Dwarven Riflemen on there. That's a 25% bonus. And I'll take those out as well. We get 60% chance of getting some extra. Start the mission. I've got nine garrison resources left now, which is not very many. Uh, it's certainly not enough to do anything extra. Now, that is the Wolf's Offensive, that quest, which I got automatically when I jumped back into Boralus. I have no intention of going and doing that one today. I'm going to just leave it as it is. Um, the only other thing I was thinking of doing on... Grundorn was maybe doing a little bit of fishing. I don't think we will do very much, but I think what I will do is I will take my bike and I will come down over here. Can I can I get through? Uh, so I actually thinking I wanted to go down over this way, but I don't have a swimming mount at the moment. Well, a, a, a water walking mount. We don't have those anymore. So I will swim under the water. Over here. Until I get to the coastline. Jump up onto here. And I'm just going to stand on this lonely rock. Apparently I'm not going to stand on this lonely rock. I'm just going to jump right off of it. I, 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 why won't you let me stand on the edge of the lonely rock? There, this is where I want to stand. I want to stand right here. And I'm going to do a small spot of fishing. We're going to get a couple of levels up with our fishing. Uh, it's not going to take very long, and then I'm going to, well, not not even a couple of levels. I, I just want to do one level so that we've got something extra, because most of what I've done on Grandorn so far is where we've just kind of like been hanging around and waiting and, and talking behind the scenes. So I don't actually have very much content for you to watch, I don't think. Thank you very much, Mr. Alpi. You are a legend as well. So 
we are going to get everybody else a mount, right? That is something that we are going to do. We will get the fragments. And we will get the other three people who came along on the run. That is Holy Banger, Wincreed, and Torval. We will make sure we get them a mount apiece. We, that is going to be our priority. Once we've done that, then we can start working on getting some for other people in the guild as well. I think it'd be quite cool if we can get everybody in the guild with a Nazjatar Blood Serpent. They're not the easiest thing to go and get. I just think it would be really nice if everyone has got a slightly more difficult to get mount. And then when we do guild pictures, guild events and that, we can all be on our Nazjatar Blood Serpent mounts. Which I think is, is like, I think that would be a very, very cool thing to have. Look, all of us sort of cruising around together on the same mount. If we, when when we do, like, um, guild runs or anything, or a little guild event, anything like that, it just it just looks really awesome. It, it, it genuinely looks very, very cool. And that has taken my cult here in fishing up to level 50. So we will stop with there. I'm not going to do any more for now. And I am going to... Just run to a mailbox a minute and post that uh, bag that I went picked up over to our hunter. And then we can get back onto him and we can do a little bit more work with the hunter in um, Dunmorrow. Well, I'm way back at the inn at the moment. So I need to wend my merry way all the way back up to the top up there. Which I think what I need to do is I've got to fly over to the quarry and then hatch, uh, catch a separate lift, hitch a separate lift up there so that I can rally the defenders up there. That's what we were given to do. We were told it was urgent. So we went off to the inn to have a few drinks and a, and a, bit, a bit of food and, and we, we then disappeared completely for a while. How are you? Probably doesn't make us the most reliable of people, does it? Right, yeah, I do. I need to go over Watch the quarry. So if I flappy over this way a minute... Oops. I also forgot to check the mail before I left because I, I need to upgrade this bag. I've got the new hex weave bag that I went and sent myself so that we've got the, the, the full range, but I forgot to pick that up as well. Drop down here into this bit. Have we got a mailbox here in the quarry? Actually, I'd be surprised if we've got a mailbox in the quarry. That... that, that not really the sort of thing you'd expect, is it? Food and drink. We do have a food and drink dude over here in the quarry. Let's let's see what you you've got, got anything attention. unusual. You got all the normal stuff, really. That's just the the, the absolute standards. You got Watch nothing unusual. Back. It's a bit of a shame. I was kinda of hoping that he'd have something unusual there. So we need to just charter flights to Iron Forge Airfield. So we jump in he Excuse me. We we'll jump in here. Now we can charter our flight up to the Iron Forge airfield. There, I've got my unread mail from Grundorn. And once we get up here, then we can start running around and doing the uh, planting down the banners and rallying the troops. Yes, we're a little bit slow getting going with the the, the, the rallying of the troops, but I feel that we can still do it. We, we can still make amends for our earlier tardiness and and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be all right I'm, I'm i'm confident that we can make up for lost time here so we'll just bring you in down that way we will mount up on our mighty battle ram there we go the iron forge ram it is the mount to have isn't it for this for, for this dude here he's 85 years young and He's, he's now helping out Iron Forge. He's, he's carrying the name of Iron Forge into battle. It is the mount to have, really, isn't it? Uh, I feel it's the only one that we can have. So I need to... Let's go to you. Uh, uh, requires... Oh, I see. So what happens if I... Oh, that's uh, if I speak to the Iron Forge Mountaineer, I can just ask him where I go, a different place. I've got to find a patch of loose snow. And that's how I've got to rally the troops. So where's the... Oh, there. Right, that's what i got to do. i, I got to go over here like this. And i, I got to stand next to this. And, and then I do that. And that rallies him. There, look. See, now, now he's, he's, he's feeling rallied, he is. And then I have my, my pets will go and, and they'll deal with the rest of it. Oh, they've, they've got more incoming. Okay, so we're not going to do too much in the way of actually fighting. 
what we're going to do is just find a few patches of loose snow and we will get the um the, the troops will deal with that themselves we're we're not actually going to worry but there is a patch of loose snow down over there we will head down here are we going to make it uh, are we going are we going to get here and rally the troops in time Hello. nicely rallied fighting with renewed vigor so what are you doing Dunmoro rifleman Ooh, we got lots of places we can do it over here all right snuggles and billy snuggles and billy they will be able to help us out in a minute we're not actually doing anything that snuggles and billy can can do at the moment I've been told I need to work on how my pets are going into combat and stuff, and I need to uh, just slightly alter the settings that I've got for them. So I'm going to take a look at that in a second, because there's a very specific way that the pets will use their abilities. Um, they don't just go and randomly use their abilities. Apparently they use them in order, so I need to make sure that I've got the abilities in the right order so that they use them in the right order so i'm just going to go up here i got one more that i need to do in a minute survival of the fittest reduce all damage you and your pet take by 20 percent for six seconds now the claw is if you have a look we've got like the little symbol going around it that means that they're using it automatically claw the enemy causing 63 damage deals 100 percent more damage cause 100 percent more focus when your pet has 50 or more focus Growl, your pet growls, generating threat and taunting the target. And then dash, increases your pet's movement speed by 80% for 10 seconds. So we'll leave that one last. I want to swap these two over. Swap them round like that. So we will use growl first. You growl and generates threat. So that's an instant taunt. It's got an 8 second cooldown on it. This one here has got a 3 second cooldown. That is a basic attack. And um, then we've got this one over here, Survival of the Fittest. Reduce all damage you and your pet take by 20%. That one, I'm not going to have that one being automatically used. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So if I go here now and I attack, he's automatically gone and used the growl straight away. So he's already generated a threat onto that one. Um, it, regardless of what I use. I've also been told when I go into combat, I should use kill command first. If I do that there, they go into combat, and then I am free to shoot from a distance. That is a better way of doing it than what I'd been doing previously, which was doing my shooting first and using the kill command a little bit later. So there's a couple of little tips I've been given by people who've been watching about how I should use the hunter. I've not used a hunter very much. I did once level one up to about level 25 or 30, and that was all I did. So because I've not used a hunter very much, I don't know very much about it and, and the different ways of playing, using it, etc, etc. So any tips are always welcome. I will see what I can do to utilizing said tips. I may not always listen to what people say. That's one of the things that people find very frustrating about me, but um, that's just how it is. I'm not going to make any apologies for that. You got my attention. Men are finding hidden reserves of strength and courage to deal with the Dark Iron Onslaught. The airfield will not fall on our watch. Uh, right. Nice, we're level 21. Thank you very much. My chief engineer tells me that he's managed to get one of the bombers repaired and airworthy. Take these bombs with you and look for the repaired bomber at the start of the runway. Once you're airborne, use the bombs to do as much damage to the attacking Dark Iron Dwarves as you can. I've heard rumours that they're preparing to deploy a new kind of war golem. Keep your eyes peeled for those golems and make them your highest priority targets. Safe travels. Safe travels. I will do that. Now where is... There is my repaired bomber over there. I've got to do 30 Dark Iron attackers. So we want to bring, bring this one over here. I've got that quest item. Actually, if, is, if I got that in my bag, yes, I have. That means I can bring it over here. We can drop it down onto a number down there. I love... Uh, this is how I like to do it. Makes it a lot easier. You're busy? I'm not busy at all. Busy with what? Oh. Someone was attacking me there for a minute. This is... This is not the way to behave. Let's go. Repaired bomber. Here we go. We're going to take the fight to the enemy. We've got to go and bomb a whole load of stuff. That's all the way down over this end. 
I'm loving this plane. I am loving this plane. Look at this. Look at it. That thing looks very, very cool. Okay, I have got a whole load of different... I've, I've already... It's still recharging. Still recharging. I've, I've got lots out here. I, I just need to, like, just keep chucking the bombs out over the side onto the different dark... Ooh, there we go. It's, it's those golems over there. Those are the ones that we need to prioritize taking out. Difficult to do it sometimes when it's... Oh, nice. I just took out eight of them all in one go there and dump that lot in there. And then over here, take another lot out. 27. There's another one. It's not ready yet. 28. I got it's one more I'm going to do right there. That one down there is the one I'm going for. Boom, like that. I have got 30. Land at the next available flight point. So I've, I've just requested that I turn round. It's it's going to... What it's going to do is it's going to send me round the whole circuit again. Because we didn't quite get everything quick enough. So we'll, we'll, we'll bomb a few more of these golems as we go round. Like this. Chuck that one down over there. I love just, like, going along and then casually... Lobbing one of these things at the side like that, just just as though it's uh, the most natural thing in the world to go chucking some of this stuff out over the side. There, I'll chuck that one down. I hope that doesn't actually hurt my own mountain. It doesn't hurt my own mountaineers. And then we'll bring. You know, I'll chuck another one out over there. And it's not ready yet. look out below. Okay, my bad. I accidentally blew up the plane over there. Can I bring another one in before we land? <laughs> I give him some... Ooh. Oh, I can't use it here. I was hoping to get one more out right at the very last second there. Just to like, finish it off. That would have been quite cool. Never mind. Let's go and run back in. Commander Stonebreaker. What's on your mind? The momentum is starting to shift, Beldras. Largely due to your efforts. Now it's time to strike at the Dark Iron leadership. With you... Ooh. We just... Uh, you're now friendly with Gilneas. Right. With you leading the way, we've finally broken the momentum of the Dark Iron attack. General Grimax, the Dark Iron leader, is attempting to rally his troops from the center of their lines on the frozen lake to the south. He stands atop one of their new Dark Iron golems, shouting orders to his men. If he succeeds in rallying them, they may still be able to overpower us. You must prevent that, Beldras. Destroy the golem guard in him, then kill General Grimax himself. He is the key to our victory. See you soon. We'll see what we can do. Let's get on to the Iron Forge Ram and take a wee trip down. So we got to go all the way down to the other end of the strip again. Do you ever get the feeling we're doing a lot of back and forthing here? Like, well, we do seem to be doing an awful lot of backwards and forwardsing right here. General Grimax's demise. Right the way down through here. We can avoid most of the fighting. Fighting's not really much of an issue for us here. We just got to find this Grimax dude. There he is. You can see him on our map. Just avoid the invaders. The other bits and pieces down here. Where is he? Uh, that would be him over there on the Dark Iron Golem. That's, that's the dude that we got to get. So we'll go in here and I will send them in first like that. And I can do this from a distance. I, I can go back I over here. And then I can kill command them into there. Okay. My pets are epically cool. Right, those two, they are some fearsome pets. Did you see how quickly they took him down? That was that was some impressive maneuvering, that was. That was some seriously impressive stuff. We're now going to run all the way back up here. We, we, we quickly ran down through there and we took him out with no problem at all. I got a pyromancer down that way over there who's getting a little bit overexcited. He, he, he's fine. He's, he's, he's not going to get us. Have we got... Uh, we haven't got anything chasing me. I have had in the past... I've been flying and I've had someone like throw a fireball at me. And I've been flying along and this fireball has just been chasing me as I fly along. It's actually a really, really cool thing. Because the fireball was going along at the same speed as my character. Um, not had that for a while though. It's some, I'd like, I've got to try and get that again at some point. What can I do for you? I have done it. Without your help, Iron Forge Airfield would surely be occupied by the enemy, and the Dark Irons would have a clear road to Iron Forge itself. 
The Council of Three Hammers must be informed of what happened here. Now, I've got heirlooms at the moment, and those heirlooms mean that it doesn't really matter which one of these I have, so I'm just going to take whichever one is worth the most, which is that one, and then we can sell it. Right. So just how did all those Dark Iron Warriors end up here on the doorstep of Iron Forge on the verge of invading our city? Does not Empress Moira, a member of our esteemed Council of the Three Hammers, rule the Dark Iron? This cannot have happened without her knowledge and consent. This was no ragtag band of rebel dwarves, but a well-organized and fully equipped invasion force. I prepared a report on the battle for the airfield. Take it to Iron Forge to the high, to the high seat and confront her. Off with you. Ooh, we've got some serious internals going on right now. Right, um... Do I need to go up over there? What did he say? Where do I need to go? Take it to Iron Forge. Is there a back entrance into Iron Forge? I thought there was a back road in up this way somewhere. I don't know if there is a back entrance or not. There is that one that takes us back down again so that we can leave here. But you've got the back door of Iron Forge and I thought it was over here somewhere. Maybe it's not. All right, well, we'll do this. This charter flight's back to Golbola. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to half back down to Dunmoro. Um, is it Dunmoro? No, it's not. It's uh, Anvil Ma uh, Ka Karanos. I'm going to half back down to Karanos a minute. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Right, let me browse your goods, man. And in here, I got that one soulbound. I want to get rid of it. That one is... A very, very, this one stamina upgrade. I'm not going to worry about that. We'll just sell that one. Uh, Disciples Pants of the Quick Blade. Well, I've got um, an heirloom for that one, so don't need to worry about it. Uh, you haven't collected this appearance. That one I want to keep hold of and we will learn. The Cold Ridge Mountaineer's Pouch we will See hold of for a minute. Let's learn this one. There we go. Now, I've got an heirloom there, so I, I do want to well sell this one met. now. There, now I've learned the imbued infantry cloak. We will sell that one. Uh, Safe travels. I'll keep hold of the rest of the stuff. There's nothing there that I really need to keep. We'll run out here. We need to go up to Iron Forge next and take this very, very important report that we've just picked up. And we need to run that all the way up to Iron Forge. Um, this is some quite important information. Talk to me. Talk to me. Iron Forge. Oh, yeah. There's some quite important information that we've picked up here, and this, this is, it could make a significant difference to the, um, the political landscape of Iron Forge. Back into the Great Forge, never our favourite place to be. We're a hunter. We like the open plains. Being cooped up inside Iron Forge is not something that we particularly like. We're not one for the heat of the forges, unusually for a dwarf. Well, I, I don't suppose it's that unusual for a dwarf, all things considered. But anyway, we need to go up here. I thought we'd be presenting it to everybody. Um, if we were in Shadow Forge City, I'd have you tossed into the Ring of Law for your transgressions, Ambassador. The darkest... Wait, have I missed out on something here? Ooh, I think I've, like, jumped into the middle of this. We, we need to set this off the myself. The mountain lends us its strength. What is the meaning of this intrusion? And just what is this? Moira takes the report and the colour drains from her face. This is impossible. How dare you storm into my throne room and attempt to spread this conspiratorial nonsense? I will not let you and this treasonous commander Stonebreaker steal my son's birthright. That's quite an accusation, Moira. It's hardly your throne room in the first place. I know Commander Stonebreaker, and I will vouch for his loyalty and his honesty. We must take his word. What cause do the Dark Irons have for taking up arms against Iron Forge? Are you unable to control your own people, Moira? Muradin has a point. If you cannot govern your own people, you have no place at this table. Both of you knew I'd never order such a thing. Why would I set one half of my son's inheritance against the other? 
No, this is the work of a traitor to both our peoples. Despite my best efforts, some dark irons remain in the grip of Twilight's hammer. The cult must have someone in the city to coordinate this kind of attack. That only leaves one suspect, Ambassador Slaghammer. Anyone else? The Ambassador's betrayal will long haunt me. You must arrest him before I can do further harm, or worse. If we were in sh Oh, wait, what's happening now? I'm... Is, is that for me, or is that someone... I've, everyone's coming up to do the same stuff up here, so I, I think I'm like... like they're, they're all here doing the, like the seat, they're all the same level, so I'm not quite sure which is for me and which is for other people. The ambassador's betrayal will long haunt me. You must arrest him before he can do further harm, or worse, before he can escape, and start planning the next attack. Iron Forge is not safe with Ambassador Slaghammer free inside of the city. Take these manacles and go to the Dark Iron Embassy. It's just to the north of the high seat, around the rim of the Great Forge. Arrest Ambassador Slaghammer and return with him. May your hammer strike true. Right, so the bit that we've seen there, that was to do with somebody else going and doing that bit. We want to... we can only use that outside. We need to head over this way, and we need to find this ambassador Slaghammer, and we need to bring him to justice. This will never stand. Right. I've got my pets. I've got Jarrah's plumber with us as well, the snow cub. He's going to learn how to deal with a traitor today. Let's go upstairs. It's going to be up here somewhere. There he is. Ambassador Slaghammer. Arrest. You're under arrest. I go willingly, Hunter. My purpose in my master's plan is fulfilled. We'll see. We have got plans for you. Despite your plans, I'm hoping our plans are going to do a little bit better than his plans. Glad to see the Dark Iron Scum is finally getting what he deserves. Right, Moira, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's get down to business then. Oh, wait a minute. May if we were in Shadowforge City, I would have you tossed into the Ring of Lore for your transgressions, Ambassador. The darkest dungeon. The darkest dungeons of Ironforge will have to do for now. Do as you will with me. I am not afraid. That half-breed runt will never be my emperor. Long live the Twilight's Hammer. I'll escort you to your new accommodations, Your Excellency. Okay, that guard seemed to be quite pleased about the idea of escorting him down there. Best mind your manners in the presence of a queen. The ambassador will trouble us no more. He is not the only Dark Iron Dwarf whose heart still belongs to the Twilight's Hammer. We must remember that and remain vigilant against their schemes, else my son will inherit only ruins and ashes. I dismiss you. You dismiss me. You do like to play the part of the Queen there, eh, don't you? I've just saved you and your son from an awful lot of embarrassment right there. And that's it. I dismiss you. She seems a bit blunt. I guess that's the Dark Iron... That's, that's, that's just the Dark Iron way, though, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt right there. She has at least arrested the Ambassador. And the Ambassador obviously didn't like her or her son. Calling him a half-breed runt. It's not the way to behave. Now, next on my list of to-do things is... I didn't get a follow-up quest there, did I? We have got a quest over here, though. Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired. And, well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well. So we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.